On today's Apple Daily, iPhone 12 5.4 inch to be branded the iPhone 12 mini, iPhone event set for October 13th, and Apple's mini LED displays coming to iPad and MacBooks from next year. This is the Apple Daily. I'm David for Living on iPad and I simplify Apple so that everything just works for you. If you want the latest Apple news, rumors and leaks every weekday at 12 UTC, hit like on this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so that you can join my notification squad. iPhone 12 5.4 inch to be branded iPhone 12 mini. Pretty reliable Twitter leaker Love to Dream has tweeted the names of the iPhone 12 series with only one slight surprise. The 5.4 inch iPhone 12 mini 6.1 inch iPhone 12, 6.1 inch iPhone 12 Pro, and 6.7 inch iPhone 12 Pro 2 long didn't read, or Max. While this isn't exactly groundbreaking news, we obviously didn't know that the smallest iPhone was gonna be branded up as a mini. I personally think uh, iPhone Nano would be cooler, taking the name from the old iPods, or even going with iPhone Air iPhone event set for October 13th. Leaker Kamiya Appleseed has responded to a tweet from YouTuber MKBHD or Marquez Brownlee, which was about the OnePlus 8T, which I assume is an Android phone, saying that that is releasing on the 14th of October, and he has mentioned that that is right after the iPhone. It looks like the 13th is the date that we're set for. That's the date that I had in mind already, although some people have been saying the 6th. I'm not convinced by the 6th. I think that's probably a little bit too early, but I would love it if it does come out to be the 6th. Maybe we'll have the event for the 13th announced on the 6th as well, and then everyone can be right like John Prosser. Fingers crossed we won't just see iPhones at the event, but I do think we will see the first of the Apple Silicon Macs at that event because Apple will want to get as many eyeballs as they possibly can on these Apple Silicon Macs, showing off how powerful they can be and the best way to get more eyes on your product is to sit it next to a brand new iPhone. Apple's mini LED display is coming to iPad and MacBooks in 2021. According to Ming-Chi Kuo, we're looking to have 30 to 40% of iPads sold next year and 20 to 30 percent of macbooks in 2021 featuring these new mini led displays if you don't know what mini led is a conventional L uh, lcd display like the imax and like the vast majority of what apple uses at the moment has a ring of leds around the outside edge of the screen which is then diffused across the back of the lcd which basically just lets through the right colors of light but that does mean that the whole back panel of the LCD is lit up at all times. That's why OLED gives you better darker darks and brighter brights, um, gives you basically more contrast throughout the image, uh, but it does come with some drawbacks like potentially burning into a display. So obviously with a wallpaper like this, it's on most of the time and it doesn't damage the display. With OLED, it can burn into the display much quicker and the shelf life of those displays, once they're in use, is a lot shorter. Mini LED and potentially micro LED down the line does a very similar thing. So they will have localized dimming zones with a lot of different LED areas across this backlight, which can be individually dimmed. So you get brighter areas, darker areas. It's not quite as precise as OLED, but it is pretty close. Now, Apple currently uses OLEDs in its iPhones, uh, the flagship iPhones at least, and Apple Watches, and then LCDs pretty much across the rest of their product range. But according to Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple has managed to secure a second manufacturer of mini LED displays, so they're able to push down the pricing and get it into more products uh, as early as next year. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you want to join my notification squad, don't forget, leave a comment to let me know that you have subscribed and rung the bell in the comments below so that I know who to shout out in the next one. And we will see you in the next video.